In the dance of Tarot, the imagery is oftentimes very, very important and sometimes very, very literal. As we come to the Devil card, Aleister Crowley very personally identified with this card and he saw himself as that Devil image. But I want you to notice that the devil in this card seems playful. He has a third eye. Um, he has a garland around his horns, kind of at a tilted angle, kind of giving him a happy, joyous, spirited quality. So he's not showing up as something really scary. He's showing up as the, the playfulness that is life and passion and sexuality and that it is through sexuality and intimacy that we start to open up some of the darker places inside of ourself and we confront some of our deepest fears. This again is one of the cards where the sword is going into the fire again to be tempered so that it can become very, very sharp. And in life you have to confront the parts of yourself that are tempted. So this card is about temptation and the things that pull us off of our center, whether that is the seven deadly sins, um, whether it's something that we have internally, um, if we have a fear of being auth our authentic self. And in this card you'll see that the goat has very, very big horns. And in nature, when a male goat has larger horns, it means it's older and it's survived longer and the bigger horns are a status symbol of survival and strength. And we can also take it in the literal sense, too, that this card indicates a horniness of strong sexual energy and strong, passionate life force at play. When you look at this card, it definitely looks like an erect penis um, and that that penis is penetrating something high up and that penetration even looks sort of like the planet Saturn. So in the dance of life and life force, passion and play, we tend to have a real struggle. We, we karmically are challenged by our belief systems related to our higher functioning mind and our lower functioning human primal self. This card is an indication that you need to come to terms with both of those and to find a way to allow both to be in alignment with your human self. You also see the testicles in this card show two different types of interaction. One is one of conflict and stress and strain and one is of abandonment and loss. You will also see the background looks like a whole bunch of cobwebs and it was supposed to indicate how Mars looked in the sky to them when they looked at telescopes. It kind of had this webby look to it. So this card is the sign of Capricorn and Capricorn is born in the death of winter. Capricorn is the sign of winter solstice and it is also the sign where the Christians took the return of Christ because Christ was not actually born in December because he was born when the lambs were lambing in the Middle East, which is March. So, but the Christians adopted it to take over the pagan winter solstice because it was such a critical time and that they actually said Christ was the return of the light. So what this card is indicating is that sometimes in our deepest, darkest moments of despair and when we confront very dark places inside of ourselves that it turns us around and it pulls us back into the light.